Hello guys and welcome back to calling scripts with parameters. Alright, in this video guys, we are going to look at passing command line arguments. Alright, a variable could be a number or a text file or a device or data. You can go straight to our terminal over here and we're going to be opening a script called script1.sh. So when I open that with a nano script1.sh, here we are, we have a script. And remember, we have echo here. Now, echo takes in inputs and outputs it to the terminal. But first, we need to look at the shebang, which is the ash and the bank, or you call it the pound bank. We have an ash here with a bean and a bash. This is what the kernel actually understands, that this is a script, and we want to run it whenever we are on the terminal or whether we want to use the dot and the forward slash in our terminal. Now, remember, the dot and the forward slash is to run our script. In the previous videos, we looked at that and we actually understand what the dot and the forward slash is actually used for. But in this video, we're actually going to look at the variables and the argument. Now, over here, we have a comment with an ash. A comment starts with an ash, and this is an example of using arguments or script. And you can see we have another comment over here, which we pass in the argument. Now, we have echo over here. Remember, echo takes in input and outputs it to the terminal. All right, now you can see we have your first name. Now, the dollar sign and the one over here actually accept arguments and then pass it. That is the argument we pass to our script over here, which is over here. Now, when we run the script, remember, whenever you want to run a script, you make sure you modify that script with a chmod, with a u, and an x. This x means execute. You use it to execute the script. So, which is whenever I do ls-l to the name of the script, that sh, you can see that the user has the permission to execute the script over here. You can see the rest of the users doesn't have the permission to execute the script. So, when I do this, remember, before running this script, remember we're trying to accept an argument from the script. So, before running the script, you do with a bash, we're going to be using the bash interpreter to run the script, the name of the script, script1.sh. Then we send in our input or our argument. We pass in our argument, which is Eero Nakamura. Then enter. You can see your first name is Eero. Your surname is Nakamura. Total number argument is what display because we have Eero, which is one, Nakamura as the two. Now, if we add straight to our slide over here, remember, argument also called the command line argument is a file name or other data that is provided to the command in order for the command to use it as an input. That was the same thing we did in our terminal over here. We pass in the hero and Nakamura to accept our input so that it will be displayed on the terminal over here. And you can see the total number of arguments of display we got is two, which is hero and Nakamura. So that's all for this video, guys.